Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Today in this video, we will get the plans from the server and test that. So, to start, first we should create a service like the authentication service here. Click on add class. I will call it plans service. Okay, mark this public first and go to the authentication service here, copy this code, paste it here, add I guess software the client and like this, okay. But here there is another property we should consider in the plan service. Uh, the process of login and register was open for public. Anyone can uh, send the request while getting plans, add, update, delete, or to do items. The user should be logged in. So we should send the access token in each request. So here I will create a property. Sorry, public string. token get get the access token from the client dot access token and we set the client dot access token equals to the value passed to this property okay so when we inject this property inside the component we get the access token from the claims and then we uh, set it to this property then we can send the request to retrieve and post data, whatever. So now the function we want to create is the one that gets data from the API. So async, public async task, we will return plan. We call the plans collection paging response. Plans collection paging response like this okay let's import system.reading get all plans by page here we pass the number of the page like this okay var response equals await client dot post sorry get but it's not get async we should use get protected async like this. Get protected, take this access token, send it in the header of the request. So the API identifies who is the user, the logged in user, get the claims from the access token and uh, retrieve the plans depending on the ID of that user. So get protected async, uh, the response we predict it collection paging response now the API the URL we can go back to the swagger page here we have two endpoints to fetch collection of plans first one is API slash plans and API slash plans we send the query as well so here this is the one that sends everything it takes the number of the page it's nullable it could be we cannot send it so it Retrieve the first page and the plans query. I will create two different endpoints for each one. So the URL is the page URL. Slash API slash plans. Here we send page equals to page number like this okay and again response dot result like this so retrieve all the plans from the api with pagination okay number of the page and by default, it's one. So if we don't pass the number of the page, it is one. 
Now I will copy this and create another one which is to search for the plans. Plans query, as you can see, it takes two parameters. First one, which is required, the query, and the second one is also the number of the page because maybe you are searching for number A, uh, sorry, the letter A inside all the plans, the title of the plan, so you can get 100 of results. In this way, also the search should be as paging. So, search plans by page also and string at this one here string query query equals to query and page number equals to page which is by default one should add async to the name of those functions okay that's it now the service is ready, we should go to the dependency container and register it the same way we did with the authentication service dot plans service it has a new plan service and pass the URL as a parameter okay, like this it's ready now, we can move to create the component and send some few tests plans via the postman so we can uh, see that uh, see the plans in the inside the ui okay i will make the video short i won't go in the second step directly in this video i will make it in the second video we will create the component and uh, send few plans via the postman so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video